Hello, everybody. Welcome to the new book of Fire Emblem Heroes. I actually have not touched the ending of book six at all. I've not seen the book six movie. I haven't seen any of the actual missions there. So I've only like gotten there just for the, the, the specific quest for orbs. And that's all I didn't even see crud about it. So yeah, I'm still completely unaware of, of the end of book six. But mostly because, you know, Scarlet and Violet showed up, and I kind of well, I need to have that as a priority, because that's way more important than Fire Emblem Heroes. So, I just need to get to that first, beat it, and then try to figure out like, what stuff I like about it, and start to complete the living decks out of it. Hold on, give me a second. Right. That was annoying me. Anyway, so yeah, I've had, like, little time Fire Emblem Heroes. Like, even to the point that I actually did the Mathis battle, like... You know already, but not the actual like uh, story bit. But uh, I don't know how hard the story bit's going to be, considering how like the higher book numbers there are. And I do want to use you know the the Asker trio, but they're super like weak and like they can't do crud. They barely do crud, while enemies just getting stronger and stronger. I'm trying to figure out how the heck to do that. But for right now, let's do the Fat Channel. As much as I really don't want to. But here we go. Do the Fed channel and then the corresponding banner time video. So let's just get down to this right now. Because I kind of want to get this over with, to be honest. Because I have other things I need to do. Alright, so. Wait, when did Fed got more feathers? Fed's getting older. Yeah, Fat is getting, uh, getting fluffier. So we got a brand new like symbol here for the new part for the new world. Okay, take her to see the the book seven movie now. Seems so. Faye? Faye! Bubbles! <laughs> Is that our new girl? Great, we're in a land of bubbles. Are, are, are we changing mythologies here? Okay, that's kind of weird. Just shows up and it gets corrupted for some reason. Okay, but, oh, it's part of like the Yomangander equivalent, it seems. So we're not changing mythologies, we're just, uh, just changing aesthetics, just as usual. So, uh, okay, so we got Bubbles, we got time, is this just a JoJo reference? Hey, hey, girl, we just met, come on. <laughs> I don't feel so good. There, said it. Seriously, now we're just, I, I, are, are we sure we're still fighting heroes or we're just moving to Genshin? Because these are more like Genshin characters. And, and Alpha still has Serena Shield. Sather as in the shells that Reagan fires out of?
Did not. Background. Book seven, set in the realm of light, will be available to play starting December 6th. Bear in mind that even if you only recently started playing the game, you don't need to clear any previous books to play this new story. And if you clear chapter 13 of book seven on normal difficulty, Sather will join your parents. Wait, chapter 13? Okay. <laughs> Green Mage. Green Mage Cavalry. Still water. She'll <laughs> 13, where's she going? They're just timey wimey nonsense. Three orbs? See how this? Yeah, where you were? There's one of seven orbs. Yeah, but why are you three orbs? Never been a fan. Never really been a fan of that. I actually have seen a bit of the castle design because I actually did open up Fire Emblem Heroes for this. But, uh, yeah, I immediately changed back because I, I don't want to see it. Also, random Reinhardt. <laughs> why did that have things already completed? What the heck? I changed my castle design immediately. I changed my back immediately. <laughs> I might change it back to this later, but like I just uh, didn't want to spoil myself that much. Oh, fates! Is that Caldory to the right? That'd be cool. Oh, speaking of. That's not how you put it. The, uh, the he's at the as he before the other uh, Caldory. Caldori. 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 Nah. Looks like she has a. Hey! My boy! Hey! It's my boy! Uh, I, it's funny, I like Kiragi way more than. Oh! Oh, wait, wait, wait so you're in Lowenthal. He has, he has a bad 10 voice. That'd be, that'd be hilarious, but it's not. Do I? Dwyer. I mean, I'm going to say Dwight. It's Dwyer. Is he, is he the, uh, the demo for this? Because, uh, why wouldn't a, ma why wouldn't a male infantry staff unit be anything but a demo? It's his art's pretty good, though. I'm Hans, Noah's newest captain. Who wants an axe to the neck? You, you're using a hammer. Oh, Hans, you're so scary. That's right, he's committed 
Oh, it was Ipe. Never mind. Base Ipe. He's, I think he's the Grand Hero battle because no way he's going to be a, play, uh, a banner unit. What the heck? What the heck is this? She looks wacky. This is a, this is a, <laughs> this is a moose spell like resplendent. And then, and then Dwyer is gonna be the demo. Not surprised. But uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, well, I'm just, it's, it's, it's like Ophelia looks more like a moose spell, a moose of resplendent than a, and then probably like, had the moose spell like I found on their eye, but then the shit the art was changed to make it through the Norse. Oh wait, isn't it today? Oh, that was yesterday. Actually, that's an update. Recipes will be added to the dining hall. Wow, actually, that, who would have thought that actually gets an update? Yeah, I'm still trying to get the rest of the. Um... Oh, great, it's gonna be more of these? I was just about to go you know, fish with these. Come on. Can I see that? I don't want to see how the conditions applied though. Cause that's actually way too interesting. I think it's gonna be a super rare. So you're so you're literally getting like other people equaling your friends formas. Not surprised. Really, they come with the trait. That's interesting. So you something real quickly. Oh, there it is. There's, there's the restriction. I take it that that the, uh, that the item needs to make that that's a super rare, like probably even rarer than um, the the Hall of Forms thing. Honestly, that would make that. I guess, but let's make that one a difference. Oh boy, it'll make it harder. I'll be more useful than just having just ask the trick because they kind of they're stupid so useless for a long time. I don't care what Zale thinks. Can't even choose, and it's random. That's lame. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Larsay. So tomorrow, got it. Hey, that's it for today. Book seven is almost upon us. We just resolved a conflict between gods. But then I haven't, I haven't got to that finishing. Yes, this is a JoJo reference. Jojo, like part six, like of the anime ended. So, uh, uh, okay, so before we get to the banner, uh, yeah, part six of Jojo of the Star Ocean anime ended now, uh. I knew going in that the part six ending is not going to be as satisfactory as the others before it, or even after it. Uh, but uh, I really like the fact that um, a, instead of the normal ending Sonny used, they actually did use Roundabout for the ending of the final episode. And I was like, yes, I can't believe they actually did that. They actually used Roundabout for it. It's so fitting. It really does cap off. Like... You know the main JoJo timeline. Uh, I find that really, really good. Well, anyway, let's go straight to the banner hall. Let me just go load it up real quick before. Okay, let me just load it up real quick. Uh, okay, and let's uh, begin again here. Ooh, I like the I like the little little things. Let's see. Let's see if like the things actually better. Uh, Better than the last last book. I did really like last book's thing. Okay, yeah, I think it's better. Well, anyway. I just want to yell out "Whoosh and bam" when I deal the finishing blow, don't you? Sometimes. Special Spiral Four. Oh, great! And an up an upgrade to, to an already good uh, uh special no. or good skill. I still have not pulled Ganglot. I still have not pulled her. It's really annoying, to be honest. These cow these cows in this. All right, cow. She's gonna get fueled really bad. Tax speed hold. Hmm. I mean, use the demo. I mean, this guy, this guy's going to be the demo. Like, why would an infantry, a male infantry staff, not be the demo? If he's actually really good, then that'd be surprising. Oh, no new things. <laughs> ARDS skill, lame. At least they're not getting a, a, another new, like, hero type. Child of Midgard, I am known as Savior of Vanaheimer, the realm of light. Huh. Astra. The future is in sight. And weapons the end to herself. Future focus. Set the odd number turns. Okay. You know, now I wonder. Yeah, Dwyer is the demo. Not the prize. A 
I still have not pulled Gangla. I really want to pull Gangla. Why the record time spell? So you can do for such a spiral. Hi, Leg Yarn. This song's pretty good. This song's pretty alright in LA. This song's pretty alright. Not sure if I can withstand it, like, a, a, a lot. So, anyway. Alright, so let's go see what we did, what we, what we dealt with. So, uh, so for the Fed channel, uh, I kind of like some of the updates there. We're actually getting updates to, like, you know, the recipes, because, like, I've had, like, all the recipes done for a long time now, and the, the you know, Garden Theory is just doing nothing for months. So, yeah. At least that. Let's look at the a some Aether Resort updates. Pretty decent. Although I still have now I need to you know get more of the the heart the heart things just so you get more accessories because I was oh, I was gonna be almost done with it soon not to get more of them like I can't like I cannot get more music in the game for my like actual life what the heck uh but yeah let's go see what the banner is about because I just really care more about that more so anyway. As I said before, Philia looks more like a moose spell resplendent than a, a rearmed hero. Honestly, I'm just considering the very specific like color scheme used here, the red, gold, black. Like that's 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 really more of a moose spell than does of you know anything else. I mean, yeah, the weird dragon wings over there is a little bit different, sure, but like Oh yeah, oh yeah, and the feathers over there. See the feathers around there, that's Typically more like Embla or Moose Spell. So, yeah. I'm just saying, this looks less, this looks more like a Resplendent that has been, you know, promoted into a, a Rearmed Hero than it does anything else. Uh, the rest of her face is, is definitely Ophelia, definitely very Ophelia. Got nothing wrong with that, but still. Alright, so skills involved are, let's see here. Is this your Luna, Text, Reds, Fitness, Times, Pulse? Okay, so Special Spiral, what's the difference? Uh, I don't have Fat up, so I should probably check what, what the Special Spiral does third before going into the fourth, because that might be something a little bit different. So I think part of the four is deals plus fighting with special triggers. Uh, I think it's a bit of a wrath thing. If I'm mistaken, I could be wrong. Okay, Special Spiral three is. If 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 a trick special trigger before or during combat grants special cooldown combat throughout well the combat, so seeing that that only the the four thing has it as a final sentence there, so everything else is new. So deals five damage special triggers. Okay, if special triggers neutralizes neutralizes uh, damage reduction uh, from non special non special uh, skills, but doesn't like most damage reduction things not take into account specials or just not area effect specials. So, fine. Uh, sure. It's it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I think I think it's more of a necessary upgrade considering how, how special, special Spiral 3 is still pretty good, but now that so many other characters have more prep B skills, that having it uh, having it as a buff could make it better for characters that don't have prep Bs. Okay. So what's the what's the uh, red tome? Let's see. At the start of turn one, grants special cooldown count minus one. K. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than twenty percent, grants all plus five to unit. You need to guarantee follow up attack and natural neutral penalties to teams attacked during combat. Okay. This is a red tome. So, uh, who can um. Who, who among what I have can best utilize this? Uh, because uh, so many other good characters with red tomes have it uh, have a prep, a prep that just makes it, I wouldn't say better, but like, uh, like for example, I'm, not, I'm not, not getting rid of Spring Severa's prep for that ever, even if she might benefit from it. Uh, I don't know any other. I don't really use that many other red tome units like much at all, because mostly either have preps that uh, work better with their specified um, 
play style, not just like special spam. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I actually don't really use that many other red Tomian other than Severa, to be honest. Huh. I really don't use it. I really don't use many other red tomes. Wait, what did my... Oh, see, yeah, I, I really don't use much else, huh? Yeah, to be honest, if I pull her, I'm probably not going to do anything with her, because I... Yeah, I don't really use anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just, if I manage to pull her, I'll just leave her as it is. Hmm. Let's move on. So, uh, let's move on to Kaldori. Uh, this was inevitable. <laughs> this was, a. Uh, and I, I like the art. Art's pretty good. Now, uh, actually, I didn't care. Uh, as much as I want to like Kaldori during my time on Fates, to be honest, I end up not liking her as much. Uh, as much as I really should. So, I end up with the main wife wing, uh, Flora. Uh, so, yeah, I end up not caring much about Kaldori during my time on Fates. So, uh, I don't really care if I pull her or not, even though this is a Cordelia, basically. So let's see here. She had text speed catch, which in itself is really dang good. So this is actually in itself worth pulling, like just for that. And attack speed hold, it's it's pretty good for like more uh, defensive units, I guess. Anyway, project pull on. So, okay, see here. Uh, start of combat, units HP greater twenty percent grants all plus five to unit. No tries the effects. Against, well, guarantees guarantees. Guarantees false follow up attacks and, and effects that prevent units follow up attacks during combat. Blah. And also reduces but a full oh, second defense by combat equal to, to a percentage of unit speed to start of combat. That being a number of, wait number of units max HP and all wait and all stats that are not more than five higher than foes correspond. What the heck? Pause. What the heck am I looking? What am I thinking? Am I reading here? Okay, so it reduces foes attack and defense by a percentage of the unit speed at the start of combat. So, as long as this unit, as long as Cal's faster, then it per, then it reduces foe's attack and defense by a percentage. And that percentage is five times, okay? So it has to be a multiple of five, sure. The number of units max HP and all stats that are no more than five higher than foe's corresponding stats to start of combat, plus 10. Okay. Hold on. I'm try, try, trying to think here. So, if the, if Calgary's stats are just barely higher than the opponent's stats, then the Attack and defense reduction is greater, but only just barely. Okay. And it's that, whatever that is, so be it, be it um, either a number from 0 to 5, okay, times 5, and then plus 10. Okay, so at worst, it would be 10%. If no stat is just barely higher than the opponent's. So if it's 10 at the bare minimum. At the highest, it would be 35. Due to, like, if it's just all barely, it'd just be uh, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. That's 25. And plus 10. Oh, can't see the hand, but still. It's 35. So it's in between a 10 and 35 percent reduction to full attack defense depending if your stats is barely higher than the than the opponents when the combat starts okay but why do you have like stuff other stuff that that that, lo that lowers ta uh, lowers attack and speed and stuff so at this point you really right now you at this point you probably don't need all of these uh, stat modulation things, you could uh, at this point you rather want to have like special stuff. Maybe like later on you do, but not at this time because you're a newer unit. Maybe a few months down the line when the opponents are like 
you know, a bit more balanced or even like around special lot, too, a little too specialized, then maybe th this is probably not good. But uh, yeah, more balanced units is probably better. I don't even know. And then Dwyer's new thing is aid plus. So at the start of turn, we uh, start with 10 speed to an ally that has been dealt the most damage. Don't we have that as a skill somewhere? Uh, but hey, at least it's 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 um, a free heal on the start of your turn to whoever whoever's uh whoever needs it the most. It's useful, I guess, for someone who just wants to stay far away and uh, doesn't really want to do much. Like Dwyer, it makes it makes sense. It makes sense for him. It makes sense for him and like Linhard. Uh, for this. And the rest of the stuff we already know about, and the rest is not worth. So let's move on. I guess Mortar Plus is pretty cool, but that's pretty much it. Alright, so uh, next up we got our new unit, Sather. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, like, Reagan's attacks are based on, uh, like, the, the special is named after her, if I'm not mistaken. Still Water, pretty cool. Still, still Alright, alright, I guess. So, Chill Attack and Res, 3. Alright. I got not much more to say than that. Uh, so new thing, future focus on other returns after foes start of turn skills trigger. Okay. The close uh, for the four, closest foes in card nation's unit, if units res is greater than foes res, plus plus the distance from unit of foe what the heck? That Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. On unnumbered turns after foes start of turn skills trigger. Okay. For the closest foes in card nations of the unit, okay. If the unit's resistance is greater than the foe's resistance, uh, plus how far it is, um, how far uh, how far it is from the from the unit from the unit of foe times three, okay, then end of turn for that for end of uh, end of action. Okay. Seriously, I think I'm bringing a Yu-Gi-Oh scale more. A uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh card effect more than this. Yeesh. Well, anyway, anyway, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, her tome at the start of turn units within two spaces of an ally grants falling effect. You now the two spaces of the unit for one turn. Okay, make follow attack. If unit initial combat is within two spaces of an ally grants all plus five to unit during combat. Unit makes a grant to follow attack. And we're gonna, this should be like a, a a tag for unit makes a guaranteed follow up attack or. Or, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just feel like there should be more tags than this. I feel like there should be tags for conditions. Because I see, like, oh, units within two spaces of the unit. It should be, like, form skill. Like, uh, I don't even know. Yeah. Unit in guilt damage will turn the unit's res. So, guess. Oh, point is, there's a, a res focused unit that could shut off lower res, you know, foes, like, right, right close to her within cardinal directions. Sure. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I got nothing more to say. The art, um, I actually didn't uh, look at the art. I should probably like look at the art, actually. I actually didn't even bother looking at the art of this. Uh, the art of this is fine. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, actually, we're actually done here. So, um, yeah, I got, to be honest, I got nothing more to say here. Uh, I, got, I got nothing more to say here. I kind of want to do some other things right now in the... Oh, I'll just say this is kind of okay, I guess. I got nothing really more to say here. Except, like, the whole timey wimey nonsense. So, the only question I have here is that if the, if the book starts at number 13, does that matter? Because I know, maybe lore-wise it might matter. You start at the end, and then you move backwards. Maybe you start back at 1 when you're done. So, maybe they, they're chapter 2... That I know that it will be there in chapter one. I don't know if they will have chapter two in the same day. Doubt. But the only thing that I'm questioning is let's say that we're done with book seven. Let's say it's, let's say it's next year, right? Um, we go back to chapter 13. Will we see these characters again? Will we see the Fates characters again? Because usually, like, they. They might, they might still keep, like, the same things, but they'll probably be way weaker now since a year old have passed. Uh, that, that's, that's my only my only question is, in a year from now, once we get to the actual Chapter 13, we go back to it, 
Will these same Fates characters show up? Yeah, that, or will there be some sort of story workaround so that they won't show up? Or if they're just going to do a cop-out and there's like they, it's the same like idea, same like stuff here, but the Fates characters don't show up because the fate, because we need new characters. I don't know. I, I That's my only question with this. Like, I get like, oh, the main villain this time uh, rewinds time or something. Like some sort of bites the dust. So, uh, but yeah, I just feel like what well, question about the Fates characters, what are you going to do with the, in the actual chapter 13 when we, when we get to it next year? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the, uh, for the reaction stuff. I'm going to do something else right now. Probably going to play some more Pokemon. I need to get some living decks nonsense and yeah. <laughs>